What's up everybody, Trinity here, and welcome back to the Second Street Marvel for today's comic book review. And today, I'm going to be talking about Bass Reeves. This book is being published by Alliance Arts and Entertainment. Now these books right here, in case you haven't been paying attention, these books were released at Walmart. They had these nice little sidekicks there at the store, and they had like, I don't know, a few different titles. I'm gonna be reviewing all of them here on the channel. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know there's probably pe plenty of people out there thinking like, I'm not going to Walmart for comic books. I'm supporting my local comic book shop, guys. Look, we all know every, with everything going on, local comic book shops, a lot of them are closed. My local comic book shop, uh, Bases, Cards, and Comics right here in Lancaster, California, has actually been open uh, throughout this uh, throughout this whole, you know, this whole pandemic and everything. So um, they, they've been open and I've still been going in there, getting some comic books, got some comic books for friends and stuff like that. I'm still supporting my local comic book shop, but... I had to go check these out and pick these up because in case you guys didn't know, these books were kind of released, I believe they did a lot of these through Indiegogo. Uh, they were released through, you know, just basically crowdfunding campaigns in the first place. So I was genuinely interested in checking out these comic books. Now this comic book right here, Bass Reeves, uh, this book is being written by Kevin Gravu. Gre Gre Grevio? Grevio? I, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the artist is David Williams. Kelsey Shannon is the colorist. David Williams and Kelsey Shannon did the cover. Eric Weathers on the, is the letterer. Hernan Octavio is the color flatter. I don't know what that is. I, I, I don't know. Um, Patrick Styles is the editor. Uh, Chris Kendrick is on design and layout. I'll go ahead and show you those names uh, right there at the beginning of the the book and you can go ahead and see a little bit of that book right there um so, see some of the art there on the opening and uh what we what we find is there's like that there's uh looks like there's a stagecoach robbery or something we see uh we flash to a scene later where there is uh the sh the, the local judge there is getting ready to go tell uh he's having a conversation with the local pastor as they're getting ready to go tell uh this uh the uh basically a widow that her husband has been killed uh, in the line of duty. And that's when we flash to this scene of these people who had just pulled off this robbery as they're there uh, kind of, you know, by a campfire at nighttime, you know, with their with their loot. And they're there sitting there talking about their score and everything. They, uh, they're all kind of talking about, you know, maybe laying low because uh, somebody, uh, somebody's going to come after them. It's going to be old bass. And they kind of go into like these little tall tales. Um, talking about old um, old Bass Reeves here uh, in the in the book, and I don't know, it's pretty funny. They kind of go in there into into all these little stories, you know, just sitting around the campfire. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. And the next thing you know, uh, he's there and he captures them. You know, he's uh, and that's uh, where you know we see him kind of step in. It was, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. That you know, pretty funny all the little setup. But then we uh, we go uh, we, we flash forward uh, later here uh, to this. Um, the scene in the courthouse here where there's this guy on trial uh, basically for having uh, it's, it's times during prohibition and he has I don't know I think he had some some alcohol that they had caught him with some moonshine maybe and so anyway what, what what's going on is uh, the the judge was actually talking about wanting that's why he was talking about with the reverend uh, was to was he wants to find a new uh, a new sheriff in town you know somebody somebody that he can appoint to come in and help him uh, sort of uh, p patrol the more uh, the more savage lands out there with the Indians and everything because they have no way of communicating with them and things like that and then in comes uh, bass. Reeves here and so basically what happens is uh, he and the judge ends up meeting with Bass Reeves and you know kind of makes it kind of makes him an offer uh, you can you can see right here they're having a little conversation kind of makes him an offer saying you know hey man I would, I would love somebody like you on my staff so I could uh, you know put 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 an end to you know or not not an, not an end to everything but just like you know kind of kind of make things smooth things out uh, within the community between their between their small town and you know just like the natives and things like that and you know, and also in tracking some of these criminals and things like that, because uh, Bass Reeves uh, is kind of it seems like he's a like he's like he's a bounty hunter, and he goes out after bounties. So um, very interesting stuff. He goes home, and uh, uh, Bass Reeves goes home, has a conversation with his wife. You know, he's got a family, he's got uh, kids and everything, and they have you know we kind of really get introduced to the family here. Like all this stuff in here uh, was was really uh, was really good. And then we can see here, you know, I'm kind of showing you some of the art in here that's going on. 
Um, his his he's got his uh, one one of I believe is his youngest son who's just really uh, so so into his father and what he does. You know, wanted to wanted to be a gunman, a lawman, and everything. So uh, just this this book was uh, really good, really interesting. The way it started out, I like the setup, the story, and everything. The art in this book I thought was actually pretty decent. Uh, I will say it was uh, four ninety eight. It was four ninety eight here, and I believe there was twenty four pages. I believe it was twenty four pages of art, which seems kind of like an industry standard. Seems like most of them are you know like twenty one pages or so, and then you know it's three ninety nine. There's a couple extra pages. I don't know, but altogether, I actually thought this book was pretty decent, and I'll probably you know pick up the rest of the rest of them as well and bring some re reviews on these uh, here. Uh, on the on the channel and uh, this one is you know it says a season premiere right up here we got the you know it was a season one episode one so and I'm not sure how many are in here if there's if there's five in here altogether I've got to say these books are actually pretty good now I will say the same thing I will say about all of these books is what I do not like about this is right here on the cover they put these uh, they put these stickers on there. They put the stickers on there with the price. You know, it tells you what what it is, what the price is, and all of that stuff. They put those stickers on there, and they've got they've got it right back there. They got the price on the displays there at the store. They've got it they've got it right on there. And so basically, you know, now you've got this uh, this nice comic book here, um, ruined. Ah, I wouldn't say it's ruined, but you know, I mean, like, come on, you would get this 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 thing this this uh, sticker on here. Now you got to try to take the sticker off. Now I do have to say. That the uh, the sticky on them isn't so bad. I mean, you can get the uh, you can get it off of there relatively easily, as you can see. But I mean, like, come on, like, you got the price. You got the price on the book. The price is on the display at the store. Now nah, I don't really think there's any need for doing all that. Come on, guys, these are comic books. Get with the program, man. Right? <laughs> anyway, I'd say that's really um, the only real negative of, about any of this, to be honest with you. Now, now the other thing is, is these books were originally released as crowdfunding projects on like uh, Indiegogo, I believe, and that's one thing I think is kind of cool about these because these were only four ninety eight. If you go to a lot of those campaigns and everything, when uh, the indie creators are on Indiegogo, Kickstarter, and things like that, it's all good. I'm all I'm okay with supporting some of those indie creators. I've done some of that uh, here uh, my, myself uh, with with quite a few different different campaigns and stuff out there. Uh, the the one thing. Is, is like you get you're getting something different you're getting a different um quality book it's not you know your marvel your dc your image it's somebody uh putting together their own books and they're, normally when you do them you you know you pay x amount of dollars for the comic book and then you have to pay shipping which can you know range in price uh depending i don't know on shipping rates or whatnot whatever they charge for that and a lot of times you know they'll send them in nice little mailers and stuff like that gemini mailers and i've got to say it can be expensive it can be expensive. Trust me, it can be. Uh, so these, I gotta say, these for the the value for what you're getting here, four ninety eight. You just gotta go to your local Walmart to pick it up. That's the one thing. I guess that's the ultimate one thing that you have to tolerate is going to Walmart to pick up these books and spending money at Walmart. I know how a lot of people feel about that as well. I totally get it. I totally get it, and I totally understand. And I totally understand anybody out there. Who feels like going out and buying these books is bad and might severe, might affect their local comic book shop? I actually kind of feel a little bit differently about that. I don't think there's any any harm in this because am I gonna supplant uh, my local comic book shop for Walmart to go there and all that? Nah, no. Nah, like Marvel puts out books there already. They have been. DC's been doing some of that stuff too. It's all good. Because some people go to Walmart and don't go to the local comic shop. Some places, some places, they don't even have local comic book shops. So I think this could be a good thing. And this is actually a good quality book. The the, the paper that it's printed on actually seems pretty good. The uh, the paper the paper once you get on the inside the the actually the art in here I would say is good. The colors in this book are really good too. But the weight of the pages, just the quality of this book is actually pretty good. And you can see I don't know you can um, if how well you can see how thick that is or anything. But um, I don't know. I got I gotta say altogether it's pretty good and they uh, here you get to the end of the story as well they even tell you about the real life Bass Reeves I didn't even know that this guy was actually a real U S Marshal they have a nice little story about him right here so you know it's pretty cool and they got a little advertisement in here telling you it's gonna come out next month hey 
you know what they're doing what they can do and hey i appreciate it um i'll probably check check all these out let me know down in the comments below what do you think about this book is it something that sounds interesting to you would you go to walmart to pick these up and check them out let me know what you think down in the comments below that's all i have for this video today folks thank you all so much for tuning into the second street marvel if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe click the little bell and all of that good stuff if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down whatever i'm, I'm not going to force you to do anything here but while you're at it make sure that you share with a friend i am going to ask you to do that make sure that you share with a friend and invite them to come hang out with us here on the second street marvel you all have a very good day have a great rest of your week go and read some awesome comics and we'll see you in the next video. Later.